Hey, you guys, hang on. I had to jog you. Again. Oh, you little monkey. You have no control. You little monkey. That little yellow one is just beyond a star. Okay. I don't know. I think you guys are kind of crooked. Okay. So I just changed because of the sun. I'm just going to move. I'm just going to reverse the set. So I do kind of want them to, you know. Like we have to buy all these footstools and all these wagons. I'd recommend it. I almost, uh, and Chelsea, you need to look for stuff like that. Um, because you can find it in garage sales and stuff. I don't really go out, so I don't, but you know, get the little tykes stuff. Hi, Sally. Oh, this is gonna be a good one for you, Sally. The number one thing you have to do is stop touching the dogs, stop rubbing their head and doing all these things, because then they won't work for you. It's, it becomes condescending to them. But, but Chelsea, what you need to do is go, um, you know, garage sales and stuff, and get these little tykes stuff. Why don't you just put it out by the road? Uh, and use in your set. Get your set very, very colorful. And anyway, I almost found this climber thing. It was on Amazon warehouse deals. It was for 40 bucks with free shipping and it was big. I was like, God. This By the time I got distracted and went back on there, someone else already bought it. So, that oh, would have been cute too. It was like red, pink, and orange. You know, I, I'm gonna send you that video that Christopher just sent me. It, it looks like the set of a horror movie where they went, the cops went downstairs and found a body in a basement. That's what their set looks like. And they've got this dog, they're throwing food on the ground saying this is one way to introduce the collar. Oh, God. Yes, it's one way. It's called the wrong way. All right, I gotta get the wagon over here so I can put the stuff in it, though. No, they don't mind. I think you should do that, too, though, with puppies. He said, why? Oh, that one I had, Smokey. He never got used to wheels. And then one day, Crazy Jerry, or no, Scary Jerry, lawn guy, my old scary lawn guy, uh, drove in the yard when all the dogs were loose, and Smokey started biting the wheels of the lawnmower as it was going along. Well, Scary Jerry just kept driving while this German Shepherd is attacking the wheels of the lawnmower, and I can't stop it because I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, but the dog can't hear me because it's right next to a lawnmower. Oh, shoe bottom. I gotta get shoe bottom in the garage. Okay, I think you guys can see everything. All right, I'm gonna move the red wagon. If I put the red wagon, I might be able to put it in that doghouse and have them go get it. All right, let me get shoe bottom inside. So I am. I'm kind of making a little pseudo corral. I know I've got the one that will run under the bush with it. Yeah, my little crazy corral. All right, let me get rid of shoe bottom real quick. I gotta be careful my phone doesn't get too hot. I invented something though, a little phone umbrella. Uh, you get those little drink umbrellas and you just put them along the top of your phone and it doesn't get in the sun. <laughs> yeah, good idea, lady. Uh, so I'm going to just do the look training. I'm gonna put the, try to put the thing in the wagon without them seeing and then try just looking over there. Okay. You can, you gotta be careful, but you don't want them to think you're acting weird at all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you already saw it. <laughs> you little monkey. You gotta get it to mama. You gotta bring it to mama. <laughs> you little monkey. Yeah, oh, he's very clever. Oh, that one saw it now. 
cute little monkey. Okay, that wasn't too good. <laughs> that was too easy. Uh, I can try putting it in the doghouse. I'll probably see. If, you, if I'm going to put it in there, I might be better to put the white, because then they'll see that. All right, let me put some treats in the wagon. That'll distract them. far away too. I better be careful. That's probably the farthest away I've done it. Oh, you bug. Oh, bug. Oh, bug. Bug, be careful. Molly's going over there. Did you see that? <laughs> Molly saw what I was looking at. That's crazy. Hey, that puppy's kind of looking over there, too. I think I should sit just a tad closer. Yeah, I hope you saw that, Mike. Molly, Molly went over there because I was looking. That one's a superstar. That one's a superstar. You know, if you just said it's coincidence, it's just coincidence and stuff. Hi, Sophia. Do you like my new hairstyle today, Sophia? I'm in a rut, Sophia. Before I started doing videos, I, I was really a schlop. We should do, I should do like a throwback episode of what I was like. I should uh, like do a reenactment of what I was like. I'll go find some of my really old clothes that I would wear even worse than these. Yeah, I didn't even know about hoodies then. Oh, that one's in the house now. And, uh, yeah, it was an awful mess. Just absolutely awful. Now I'm reverting back to that. I'm going back to my baseline behavior. <laughs> you saw I used to wear a different belt every day. I had the different shiny belt every day. Oh, I have a whole, I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna show you that my closet door with all the belts hooked on it. Not anymore. Now I just have yoga pants, sweats every day. I'm awful. All right, so. I can just distract him again. I can put it back in there again. Yeah. And you do want some. I, I'm just doing it from a little farther away. I just think it's crazy how Molly went over there. You said it was just a coincidence. Yeah, maybe Maybe there is a certain distance. Maybe you have to say, well, you have to be within three feet of it or what? I think he's going to look in a second, though. Molly looked again. Look, you see that? Oh, well, that now she gave it away, practically. If he looks in there, and now she's pushed it back farther. Oh, she's awful. took his bathroom break and came back and got it. Crazy. Crazy. All right, hang on. All right, I'm going to try to get it back in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, he actually took his break and came back to work. It's crazy.
I, I think Molly's starting to do it, Mike. I don't know if you're noticing that, but Molly seems to be starting to do it. If this one, if that little black one looks in there, it'll probably do it. Mm-hmm. No, oh, she spotted it now. <laughs> you precious, precious monkey. Crazy. All right, so let me get a little closer for this one. And I'm telling you, you probably better be closer because you better limit your... If you make it go the way you want it to go, if the way it goes is into the bush, that's... That's not the dog's fault. That's their normal behavior. It's, that was spooky, Mike. That was spooky. If you said, what did he do? I don't know. You tell me. That was spooky. <laughs> it's very, very exciting work. Anyway, Kimberly Ann, I, we need to get one of the volunteers and have him be the training director for the shelter. I think you see the benefit of training that would help these dogs. I know people want to say forever home and everything, but when they don't have any skills, that's like saying we're best friends forever, and then the person, you know, is just awful, and you just can't be their friend anymore, like my friend Sam. She just was drinking too much, and she was acting too awful, and she's going to be friends with her. So that's what happens with the dog. Not that the dogs are drinking, but the behavior is so bad that people can no longer deal with it. And with a little bit of training and skills, you know, maybe we should have a little, uh, I could help you guys work up a little, a handout thing. You know, certain little rules for success or something for your new pet. Anything! Anything, Kimberly, and anything to help. Because, you know, I'm one of these people. I succeeded against all odds. You know, if you said, well, we're gearing people for success, some of them, but we're gearing a lot of them towards failure, too. You know, so these dogs are not being geared towards success if they're making, chronically making, doing novice errors with the dog. The dog isn't going to be successful. The dog is, it's a guaranteed fail when they're doing all the wrong things. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to corral them back up, and I will be right back.